Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own coffee table books where you can put any words you'd like on them. So where I start is I first, I get any type of hardcover books. You can get them from the dollar store, Walmart, or any books that you have hanging around. I use an X-Acto knife to cut the pages of the book out of you know the cover. And uh, make sure you're very careful at this part because you don't want to puncture the spine or get any rips in the spine that's going to make the book not look good. So just take your time and be careful with this knife because it's very, very sharp. And I'm going to do the same thing with this book. Just cut the pages of the book out of the spine so we can make the book. And like I said, you can get these books from anywhere. I usually use hardcover books. So now what I'm doing, I'm getting a piece of glossy um, photo paper, like sticker paper, and I'm going to put it on the spine of the book so that you can't see the words that are already printed on the book through um, the paper. And I pretty much put that piece of paper there because um, it's sticky and I don't want to get any of that sticky stuff on the table. So. I just press it down, make sure there's no air bubbles, and I get my vinyl, I measure it to the book, and I cut a piece off and put it on the book. And once you get the vinyl off of the backing, you just use your hand. Make sure there's no um, pieces of dirt or any dust on the actual book because you will see it through the vinyl. So just get your hand and just um, pull the paper and rub your hand across the vinyl, making sure there's no air bubbles or any um, inconsistencies. And just make sure it's like nice and smooth and it looks good. Make sure you go over the spine a couple of times because that's where most of the air bubbles um, start or end up and now once I'm done with that I'm just you know getting all the access pieces and just flapping it over the book making sure that it's tight and that it's um, over the edges well so that you can kind of tell like it was the book was made that way And I pretty much get the corners and just cut it in a diagonal slant so that um, I can make sure that um, the edges are pointy. And we got one down. I'm going to do four of them. I pretty much do the same thing. Just measure the spine, cut off the paper, and um, put it on the spine of the book. So I decided to get another piece of um, that silver foil because that one was kind of scratchy. What you're gonna notice if you guys do buy this foil, it gets scratched up very easily. So I just decided to use another piece because that one was kind of scratched up a little bit. So I just got another piece. And I'm pretty much doing the same thing I did with the first book. Um, measuring it out, you know, same thing. Just going to demonstrate it for you guys again so you can get the gist of it.
And I use my scissors to cut like the vinyl and the spine so that the um the book can lay properly in the inside and so that it doesn't like it doesn't lay properly and I'm doing the same thing to this book. The last book I'm going to do is going to be orange. I'm going to speed up this process because I don't want the video to be too long. But um, once I'm done with all of the books, I do glue um, all of the pages back to the spine. And I use, I think, Gorilla Glue. And I'm not going to show you guys the process of me putting all the words on the books because that's kind of self-explanatory. But if you do want to buy some words, you can purchase some words in the description at me and my sister's Etsy shop. Um, and I'm gonna leave the name and the shop link in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you have any questions and or any other videos you would like me to post. Thank you.